Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. And we're gonna make some simple, easy, roasted tomato soup. It's so simple. We're just gonna put everything in the oven, roast it. Then we're gonna put it in my Ninja, blitz it up, and then cook it on the stove for a little bit and you'll have delicious, easy, easy tomato soup. So first, of course, we need tomatoes. Some celery, carrot, bell pepper, an onion, some garlic, of course. And then we need chicken stock. You can use whatever you, you choose. A little olive oil, just to get the vegetables going in the oven. Some salt and pepper, as usual. A bay leaf, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, dried parsley, and a little tiny bit of um, red pepper flakes. So it's so simple and so easy. Let's get started. So what I did was I just chopped everything up, big pieces. I quartered the onion, quartered the tomatoes, chopped up the peppers, celery, and we're just throwing the garlic in. So we're just gonna put all this on a sheet again. And we're also gonna save the stalks because they're flavorful. See how simple and easy this is, guys? I got three garlic cloves, but you put as much as you want. You just put a little carrot, a little green pepper, a little celery. And you can leave out whatever you don't like, of course. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to drizzle a little olive oil. Oh, are you guys in the shot? Yep, okay, just making sure because I move the camera around and then I can't tell. Okay, that's good. A couple tablespoons. Of course, a lot of good healthy salt is good for look and so good in to mate with tomatoes. Uh, spit that out, Debbie. <laughs> Same with black pepper. Love it, love it, love it. Don't worry about putting too much because, you know, half of it falls off. Got some onion powder. I set my oven to 400. And what was it, 400? Yeah, and we're gonna cook it about 30, 40 minutes. We got a little bit of garlic powder left in here. You can never have too much garlic powder. And that's it for now. And then we'll season some more later and just give that a mix. Oh my gosh, this is just so simple and so easy. Tomatoes just taste so good roasted in the oven. They taste, it just changes everything. <laughs> it really does. Okay, that's it. Going in the oven and then I'll be back couple minutes guys simple and easy stay tuned it's been 30 minutes and I'm just stirring it up a little bit just so make sure everything gets roasted and yummy <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in for about another 20 minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put these in my ninja or you could just use your blender and just put everything in there and we're gonna blitz it up And I'm gonna take the, the roasted garlic out of the little papers. See that? Just comes right out, yum. Okay, so what I did was I put a little of the broth that was just cold, so it makes it easier to blend. Look how simple this is. You couldn't hear me, but I was just saying it smells so good. So I'm gonna do this in like two batches and then get back over to the stove. So I got my pan ready, and we're just gonna do this over here real quick, just so I can show you this part, just so you can see just how good that looks. And I left it a little, not chunky, but not as pureed as some people might, but you can take it as far as you want. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I did the next batch, I'm just gonna rinse this out, because what I have here is four cups of stock, 
Let's get all those goodies out of there. Here we go. And we'll put in the rest of our stock. I have a bay leaf. We're gonna put a little hot pepper flake, not much. And if you don't want, you know, you leave that out. I'm gonna put a little dried parsley. That's about it. And then we're gonna get this over on the stove and bring, bring it up to a boil. And then we'll be ready to enjoy, guys. Okay, now our soup has come up to a boil. And now what I'm going to do is just let it simmer here for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be ready to enjoy. Look how good it looks. And you can take your bay leaf out as you find it. And um, I left mine a little bit on the chunky side. I could have went a little thinner, I guess. But you guys do it how you like it. It smells so good. It's not as red as I would like, but hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> Still very pretty. I forgot to say, now's the time to check for your seasonings. I added a little bit more salt and a little, like, tiny bit of pepper. But I like a lot of pepper in my tomato soups. But you taste it and make it, you know, what you like. Look at this soup. It is so beautiful, incredible. I'm going to just put a little shaved parm on top. Give it some extra flavor. A couple of croutons. And look at that. Oh my gosh. Let me take my thumbnail, you guys. Okay, and of course, the croutons are... Uh, dissolving in there, but that's okay. Let's give it a bite. Look at that. Oh, MG, guys. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Let's try one of these croutons. I made these yesterday when I, or the day before when I made my broccoli soup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just melt in your mouth. You guys got to give this a try. So simple, so easy. And of course, you got to have your grilled cheese sandwich. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. And I hope you stick around for more and subscribe. And uh, to all my regulars who continue to support me, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I always want to let you know that. And I just want to tell you, if you watch my salad in a jar video, this is looking great. And I'm going to take this out and show you just how crunchy this still is. See that? And let me show you just how crunchy you are. I had one yesterday, and this one I'm going to have later today. But look at this. Still got the crunch. I don't mean to be digging in there like that. but So I hope you guys give those a try, too. In the glass jars, they last a lot longer. And uh, I hope you guys go check out that video. I'll leave a link above. And it's so simple and so easy. And the one I had last night, oh my gosh, was just so good. And I thought, oh my God, it's been six, seven days and it's still lasting perfect. And uh, yeah, and I'll always put a little extra pepper on your tomato soup too. Look at this. Going for another bite, guys. Oh, look, we got a little lettuce in there. <laughs> it's okay. It's so good. It shows the matter. Mmm. All right, you guys. Be blessed. Stay tuned for more. Check out all my playlists. Come join me over on Facebook. I have a Facebook group. And, um, yeah. Go check out. I got a whole lot of playlists. I have 428 videos. My channel's doing really well. So I hope you guys, if you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed because some reason YouTube's still taking our subscribers. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one and be blessed. Love you guys.